Well, one of the many uh, <laughs> beautiful things about this book is you contrast the American tradition so vividly with that of Europe. And one very dramatic example you give is the French right to be forgotten, which comes from the droit à l'oubli, or the right of oblivion, which is so French. <coughs> it's all the French want to be forgotten, like Sartre, and the Americans want to be remembered. But as you describe it in this book, in Europe, if we were having this show and someone were tweeting, Jeff is asking boring questions or Floyd is going on too long, then after the show, both of us it. could I demand that this scurrilous yeah. tweet be removed and Google would have to decide if we're public figures and if the tweet is relevant or not. And if they guess wrong, then Google is liable for up to 2% of its annual income, which was $60 billion last year. So as a result of this right, as you describe it, Google has taken down nearly 500,000 truthful but embarrassing bits of content and you list them in this amazing part of the book and, and many seem, uh, here's, here, here are the, some of the stories, an article about a mother of two who was unanimously found not guilty of charges against, made by a 16 year old male pupil who alleged they had a relationship, uh, an article about a company director who killed himself and on Skype, all of this would be absolutely protected in America but it's not in Europe, tell us why not yeah, and why America is yeah. right. Yeah. I mean, this is a very interesting and quite recent development that, that just uh, five or six years ago, uh, a European court de decided that uh, after a certain amount of time, the amount not, not necessarily fixed, but after enough time passes, when newspaper articles or the like are no longer considered relevant about people, and generally about people who are not ongoing political people, but not relevant anymore. The person can ask Google, as, as you said, take it down, I, I don't want that on Google. It, I mean, it may be in the newspaper's files, but, it, but Google can't carry it anymore. Uh, and uh, it is a privacy protecting notion. Uh, why should someone suffer so much from something that happened so long ago? So a recent case in Belgium, for example, a, a, dr a driver of a, a car in a terrible accident. Uh, the driver was responsible, two people died, and an automobile crash. Not a public figure, a, a real person, uh, and, a, and, and a, a responsible for a terrible event. No, it was a, there were newspaper articles about it in Belgium, let's say a dozen years ago. So he says to Google, I don't want my name there anymore. And Google has to take it down, and did. Uh, Google indeed actually argued that it shouldn't have to, but it lost in court. So Google ha had to take it down. Now here that would be unthinkable, just unthinkable. It was true. It was true when it was written. It, it remains true about what happened then. Uh, uh, you know, we would say we don't destroy history. 